Our devotional thought from the Old Testament comes from the book of Exodus today, and it deals with accountability. There are many people today that when you ask them to do something and then you come to make sure it was done correctly, they get very upset. Don't you trust me? And people really begin to show an attitude. And I've always found that when people try to push back accountability, when they want to push back you asking any questions as a leader, there's things that are being covered up. It's usually not insecurity. Usually it's cover up. I want you to notice with me in Exodus 39 verse 32. And so at last the tabernacle was finished. The Israelites had done everything just as the Lord had commanded Moses. And they brought the entire tabernacle to Moses, the sacred tent with all its furnishing, class, frames, crossbars, posts, and bases. Now, I want you to notice, Moses had asked these people to do a job. And they had done it joyfully, and they had done it willingly, and, and God had anointed them to do the task. But when they were done, they brought it back to Moses and said, Moses, would you please check this out? We want you to hold us accountable. We are not afraid of inspection. Now, I often teach people in leadership that anything you expect, you must inspect. But, you know, it's really hard to follow that leadership principle when people are always trying to push you away. But it wasn't so with these people. They gladly brought it and said, Moses, we want you to check it out. Now, if you look at verse 32 and you look at verse 42, it said, when they'd done everything just as the Lord had commanded Moses... In verse 42, so the people of Israel followed all of the Lord's instructions to Moses. When they felt that their obedience was complete, when Moses felt the obedience was complete and everything was done as requested and as designed, then Moses took a journey of discovery. Verse 43, then Moses expected all their work. And when he found it had been done just as the Lord had commanded him, he blessed them. Now that is the joy of a leader. The joy of a leader is when they sit down and they have delegated responsibility to, to others to do a job, and then the people gladly bring back the completed work, and then the leader can look at it and inspect all their work. Notice the word all there, inspected all their work. He didn't just look at it from a distance, he inspected. And notice, he inspected all, okay? When he had done that, he realized everything's been done properly. And scripture says, he blessed them. This is the joy of a leader. Now, the hard part is when it doesn't work like that. But when it works properly like this, it is a joy. And Moses blessed the people. 